Today we're going to visit with R3 coordinator Caleb Bendel and Wildlife Division Chief Casey Anderson and talk about their recently launched Game & Fish podcast. I'm Mike Anderson with the North Dakota Game & Fish Department. Why a podcast? I think the biggest reason is so that we can reach that a diverse, more diverse group of people out there. I mean, and it, you know, podcast is something that people can listen to whenever they're doing whatever they're doing, um, driving down the road or you know, working on something that's a little easier to listen to than watch a video. Yeah, and I'm just excited about the extra stories that it allows us to tell. We have a ton of different communication platforms, but this particular one allows us to go a little bit more in depth on some stuff we can't really in our other um, platforms or forms of media, kind of take a deep dive into either partner projects that we're working on or some data that we don't always, isn't necessarily a secret, we just don't have time to necessarily share all that data, so. Just another tool basically to reach our our audience. Yeah. And our audience is who? Uh, all of our hunters and anglers, all of our users, but I think this platform hopefully will kind of resonate with a younger audience too, one that we're kind of trying to get in touch with. Yeah, and anybody else that's just plainly interested in wildlife and, you know, we do a lot of research and things like that, and so this is kind of unique to be able to dive into some of that stuff like Kayla said. You guys are the hosts. Why do you think you were chose to be the host of this newly launched podcast? Chose is a pretty good... <laughs> Voluntold? Yeah. Voluntold? Yes. <laughs> um, I think Casey brings, uh, obviously he's been with the department for a long time, brings a lot of expertise. Uh, he's a landowner, so that's a really nice angle that he can provide and on the podcast and with different guests. He spent some time up at the Capitol, so he's got a little bit of legislative knowledge. So I think we kind of just like balance each other out pretty well, I guess. Yeah, and I get on the other side of things, on the hunting side of things, of course, I've been doing it for quite a while, ever since I can remember being able to hold a shotgun, essentially, and, and Kayla is kind of newer into it, and she's, she's on the more avid, probably, side of things of getting out there as much as she can and more often. I've probably gotten to the point now where I'm more picky on my timing and things like that and so yeah it just brings a unique balance as far as that goes too. User I heard group. you just take naps. Why? Yeah I do take naps. <laughs> well and getting into that you know just sitting here watching you guys interact obviously that's why you were chose is your expertise and the way you flow. Yeah that's an important part I think to the podcast being easy to listen to and kind of more conversational so we try to make it fun too while we're interviewing guests. You guys have uh, had a few you've recorded a few podcasts already but what what kind of topics or what are you guys going to be covering? The things that we do day to day, um, you know, like we had talked about earlier, some research stuff. The most recent one we had was with Paul Bailey, our fisheries um, district manager, and you know, th those guys know so much stuff. For us to be able to articulate that, we, we could maybe do some of it, but you know, those guys that are folks that are working on the research, hands on, what's going on with it, what they're seeing, um, really kind of interesting stuff that a lot of times, like Kayla said, we don't. We wouldn't have time in a lot of other forums to do it. Real, yeah. So let's let's talk about that. What typically what's the length of these podcasts? You know, so far they've been the two longer ones where we've actually had a guest have been about 50 minutes, and that's I think a good goal. Um, I wouldn't be afraid to have one that's over an hour, but um, kind of somewhere between 40 minutes and an hour. So you really can get in depth with these yeah. podcasts, and that's kind of the goal. Mm -hmm, for sure. Okay. What other topics you you did one recently on? Uh, State school lands. The state trust land department, they manage what a lot of us call the school lands. And so, you know, over the course of, of many years that I've been doing this, 20 years now with the department, all those questions and things that we get from hunters, um, other user groups about that piece of property, because they're either trying to hunt it or, f or use it to access fishing or something like that. And so the first call is always, to the North Dakota Game Fish Department in a lot of cases. And so we were really able to dive in with that sister agency and talk about all those questions that we get and uh, a lot of the information that, you know, they may feel the users of their properties might need to know. So it's not just Game and Fish Department staff. Right, yeah, we want to have some external staff, partner staff, uh, maybe even private industry, just people that we work with a lot and maybe we don't always get to share their part of the story. Um, and just anything relevant to hunting, fishing, the outdoors, conservation, um, we're going to be pretty intentional about trying to have more than just staff on. How often can we expect a, a new podcast? Twice a month and you can find them on our website at gf.nd.gov or on any major podcasting platform. 
So you guys have produced a few of these. What are the challenges so far? A little bit just the techno like technology and equipment and figuring all that out has been a learning curve. Um, you really don't need yeah, you really don't need a background in this type of thing because you guys are the experts. Yeah, yeah. Um, just not maybe not the experts in in the technology, technology and the yeah. equipment. So I guess that's fair to say that's a challenge. And then just uh, you know lining up guests and kind of getting a feel for our flow and, and how we want it to go, I guess, has been uh, a learning experience. And I think they've gotten a little better with each one. You know, the other thing too is when you have a guest on, especially if it's somebody that you're not used to working with or you don't know very well, it's, it's kind of like how do you get them comfortable enough to have that, you know, conversational type of podcast, you know, that right. people like to listen to. Right. What are some upcoming podcasts that our audience can expect? So next we'll have one on upland birds and we'll talk a little bit about brood counts but also go a little bit more in depth on some upland bird studies going on in the state and just kind of how they're faring overall. Uh, and then we'll have our wildlife vet on Charlie to talk a little bit about CWD prior to the deer season. And one more time, Kayla, where can people find us? gf.nd.gov or any major podcasting platform. Awesome, a lot of great information, thank you.